the sound of morning. Time to hike. Good morning, it's day seven. Off to an early start, it's about 6, 12 in the a.m. We had a really awesome view last night on our campsite. Um, probably the best view we've had yet. I'm gonna try to do about 20 miles today or so. And uh, that's it for now. Look at those clouds. So here's a funny little story. Uh, last night we camped next to about eight or ten folks uh, from the UK, Australia, and they were kind of loud last night. We were trying to sleep, like laughing and cackling like hens. I didn't say anything, but this morning when we woke up, one of them yelled outside of their tent for us to be quiet because we were packing. I guess uh, we were packing a little too loud. It's pretty funny. I guess we're the first ones on the trail this morning. Just broke some silk, if you know what that means. There's another one. Spider web hanging across the trail. So uh, yeah, off to a good early start today. Headed to Mike's place, which is this cool ranch in the desert owned by a guy named Mike, who uh, allows hikers to stay there. I was there a few years ago, it's a really cool spot. I'll show you some footage of that. And I believe Mike's story is that him and his family uh, make tortillas and they sell them to all the uh, big companies. That's what I think is his deal. I don't know the guy, but maybe he'll be there. Who knows? I need to shave. Mike's place. When I was here in 2021, I painted this sign and it's still there. Back out trash? How do you like that? What's up? What's up? Just left Mike's place. 
Stayed there for about a half hour or so. Just had to charge my phone a bit, get some water. We ate some food. Now we're going to hammer out about 12 more miles for the day and uh, make it a 20 mile day. So let's do this. We got some snow on San Jacinto in the distance there. Look at that, baby. Should be there in a couple of days. What's up? What's up? Just taking a little quick break here. Seems like it's another relentless uphill day all day. <laughs> We've been doing nothing but climbing since this morning. Uh, I think we're, we're going to do, uh, I think we're about 10 miles in. So do another 10 for the day. It's still early. It's not even 11 o'clock. So um, just enjoying the weather, enjoying the climbing, and uh, catch up with you soon. Live it on the edge, baby. Look at that view. Look at that view. So, final thought, I mean, all right, so uh, I think we're doing another five miles, uh, and then we're gonna call it for the day. So, um, on we march. All right, end of day seven. We did about uh, a little over 21 miles today. I think we have about 11 to go. We'll get to Paradise uh, Valley Cafe tomorrow. We're gonna hit it early in the morning, get there for breakfast. Um, we got a really cool campsite here, overlooking the mountain, overlooking the valley, I'm sorry. And it's a little windy, but it's pretty warm out. I don't think it's gonna get down below uh, the high 40s, low 50s tonight, so. Um, that's it for day seven. Pretty uneventful day. We didn't run into too many people that we normally run into. We only saw a few hikers um, on the trail. The views are pretty boring, uh, but it was a pretty easy day. I guess the highlight of the day was stopping off at Mike's place with no one else there. <laughs> so um, that's about it. And um, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. Good morning. Today's day eight. You know what else it is? Town day. <laughs> morning everybody it's day eight it's uh, almost six o'clock in the morning and we've got about 11 miles to get to paradise valley cafe where we will eat um, i've got a box there waiting for me and then we're getting a ride into idlewild and taking our first zero so looking forward to that um catch up with you in a bit Desert definitely has the most amazing sunrises, for sure. Um, it's a little windy, but not that bad. It's pretty. Warm. It's gonna be pretty warm out today again. So I had a nice night last night. Slept in my shorts, so I don't think it got down below the low 50s. Um, it's supposed to be more good weather coming in. So I hear. I hear by the time we get to San Jacinto, 
um, condition is going to be better. Um, and they have been getting better because it's been warm. I guess the weather's been warm up there. So, or warming up, I should say. Can't speak today, sorry. Right, we're about three miles from Paradise Valley Cafe, or at least the trailhead. It's another mile to the restaurant, which will probably hitch. It's been a lot of climbing this morning, pretty much all uphill, so haven't videoed much. Not much to see, pretty much the same views. So uh, that's it for now. With all the miles we've done every day, today's the first day we've actually hit 10 by 10, which is pretty funny. That means 10 miles by 10 a.m. We've got about a half a mile left. It's only about 9.35 in the a.m. Um, a half a mile to get to the trailhead uh, to go to Paradise uh, Valley Cafe. So we'll probably end up hitching there. It's only about a mile. So if we have to walk, it's not too bad. But I'm gonna feast because um, I had like one cliff bar left in my bag and I ate that before I left. And I hate cliff bars. Anyway, uh, I'm running on about 200 calories after 11 miles, so I'm gonna pig out at breakfast. And then I've got a box waiting for me with my some food and my snow gear for the San Jacinto if I should need it. Um, and then we're gonna uh, get a room in Idlewild. So uh, see you in a bit. And lo and behold, we come off the trail. It's Magic Man. We meet again. What took you so long? Yeah. <laughs> I had a trail to hike. Sand Ledger. Just ran into Magic Man again for the third time. Amazing trail angel. Uh, now we're attempting to hitch into Paradise Valley Cafe, but unsuccessful so far, so we're probably going to end up walking the rest of the way. It's not that much farther, so not a big deal. Road walking, road walking. Thank you very and much. May you achieve your target safe and sound. Right. Yeah, I've been gone a lot of times from the country, and every time I came back, I wanted to get down to the ground. <clears throat> right, we finally made it to Idlewild. A little gear explosion here. There's Kimbo on the bed. We got this awesome room at the bunkhouse. Amazing little place. I got a balcony view of the woods. Raj, the owner, is an awesome individual. He has an amazing story. Came here to this country with $800 in his pocket. Started this hotel business here in Idlewild. Um, very cool cat. I definitely recommend staying here. Very hiker friendly. We'll come to Paradise Valley Cafe to pick you up. Um, we are just a little bit outside the center of town here, but he's going to drive us into the center of town whenever we need a ride. So I'm just looking forward to a nice zero and a relaxing day off. I get to shower, maybe shave, um, do some laundry, get some resupply, and uh, all that fun stuff. All right. This is uh, day eight. We only did 11 miles today, and we're going to take the rest of the day off and probably most of tomorrow. See ya. Laundry day.